Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel once again. So let's start this third lab of question. So let's start it. In this username, search count listed there. Copy this password, paste this password field. Whatever. And scroll down in this Chrome browser. Same thing. So let's wait. Just wait a little bit. I think we need to accept the condition. See, it is not active, so I think we need to accept it. Yeah, see this. This is just cylinder and connection, otherwise, this will pop quickly. Okay, so panel rate is here. No, this doesn't work now. Okay, so finally got it. So again, continue. So once our Windows is active, I mean this Windows is particular Windows is active, then we can move inside its live set. First, we have to activate the cloud cell. So let's activate it. Okay, I think this will take a little time. So let's wait. Okay, so this will take some time. Let's scroll down after activating this cloud cell. We need to run this code. So copy it. Okay, we got it. Paste it there. This is the button. That's it. We scroll down. This cloud function, something like now. Just paste inside the search box. And open the first one. That is inside this dot dot three dot dot inside this close. Okay, good. Now function for this one it is enabling some API for this function name good save it environment one function name so to place this function name with hello world I've mentioned they have mentioned it there the authentication check the box allow on other authentication okay. allow on other invocation this we have changed there and we replace the name and nothing will change now so click this save button and expand runtime and build And uh, under auto scaling, okay, let us find auto scaling. Yeah, this is auto scaling. Set the maximum number instance to five. Maximum number instance to five. And, uh, click next button. Click next. And uh, make sure your entry is hello world. Okay, nice. Deploy. Okay, just click this deploy button. Make sure your entry point is hello world. on this particular screen let the process to complete then we'll move forward okay so let's wait 
Yes, so finally this is done. So the document is ready. So we can check our progress. Good. Let's scroll down. In the cloud cell, you need to run this code. So copy and just paste into this cloud cell. Press enter key. That's it. This code and paste it here. Okay. Still in the cloud function, and see something you have projected or something like that. So, for Riku, you can skip this, so you can skip this also. Just don't skip it. You can just do it, don't worry. Now, let's create a log based matrix. For this, you have to go inside this login, copy it, and paste it there. Go with the first one and enter this log explorer. Close everything. So, this is it. So look at just log from your cloud function in the resource. Drop down select cloud function. And this is the log field for the resource. In the resource type, select the cloud function. Select hello. And to select hello world function now. And uh, then click add okay we have selected now now we have to click this add so where is the add button now then click add then click add the log in the long name drop down select cloud function check box and click add so <laughs> where is the add button where is the add button guys indeed no create matrix something like that so query run query cloud function something like that and uh, if we scroll down i'm not able to find the add button no it says to then click it so where should I click it? Where is the edit button? If I don't get the edit button, then how do I edit there? Okay, no problem. In the log name select cloud function and click add. Okay, so query. Okay, we are we need to run we need to select inside there so that we can run this inside as no query builder. Okay, so we have selected there no it is already selected, no need to get just it is selected now. In the log name, where is the log name? In the log name, we have to select cloud function. No? So, this is the log name. You have to select cloud function. So, select this cloud function. There is no, you have to click this apply button. There is no add button. And uh, once this is done, click around query. 
so just click this run query button and let's wait okay so i think query is complete now we have to click create matrix so click this create matrix okay this window is a little bit loading so in this create matrix it's in the matrix type row distribution okay let's let it load first Okay, change this metadata to distribution and name your matrix to cloud function latency log. Okay, so press here. In here, text preload field name. So, where is the field name? Description unit field name. Text preload no and enter this flow in the exception. Just paste it there and uh, good. Now click create matrix. Matrix is ready, created and good. We have completed our object of this lab. So I'm just going to in this lab. And we can go further inside this lab. That's depends upon you. So that's it guys. See you in the next video. Little bit I mean not boring, but little bit tricky. So see you in the next video. Thank you.